Hey everyone, this is Major Batman here at Linkira Studios. I'm going to show you a quick way to use some code, some animation layers to create a blinking character model using the inherent blend shapes. I'm utilizing Stephanie Maslin's stylized woman models here. Uh, they come with a uh, several blend shapes, which we can see over here on the right. And the one we're interested in is this blink. And so what we'll be doing is recording the blink, creating an animation file using an animation uh, timeline recorder. And then we'll create an animation layer of the blink and set up a code to make it randomize. So let's do that. Okay, so for my character, we already have several things set up. So what I'm going to do is click over here and create new clips. And we're gonna create one called blink. So this blink animation, we're gonna click on this record button here and this records the character, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just move this over to 100, and then we'll stop. The one that does that creates a keyframe here for the blink blend shape. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is create several of these keys. So the first one is gonna be zero, and then it's gonna to go to 100, and then you want it to stay 100 for a period of time, and then go back down to zero. And if we play it, it's going to repeat and it's gonna be rather quickly, but uh, let's just look at it. It doesn't look half bad. And that's all we need to do. We just need to record a blink animation. Now what we're, we'll do is we'll open up the animator for this character. And I already have a few things setting up here. And we're going to create a new layer and we'll call this the blink layer. We will go over to this icon here. We'll set the weight to 100. We're gonna override as additive and we're going to create a new default state. And then we will add in the blink animation right here. We're gonna go over here to parameters and we're gonna add a new Boolean for blink. Mind you, this one is going to be case sensitive. So uh, name it however you deem necessary. I'm making it lower case. And so then we're gonna add a transition to blink and we will um, and then also transition back and if we click the transition we can add in this parameter blink make it true and then on the other side we're going to make it false okay so this creates that blinking layer and we'll be able to move on that as as necessary so i'm going to put it down here so that we can see it when we start next we're going to want to create a script and we'll name this blink control Okay, so we created a script called Blink Control. The first thing we're going to want to do is grab the, uh, is to create a variable for the animator. Uh, next, since we're going to attach this to to the animator, uh, next to the animator component, we just can do call it do a get component. Then we're going to call a uh, a coroutine. We're gonna name it blink and wait, and we're gonna feed in a random time, range four to 11. So that's gonna be our seconds. So let's create that coroutine. So what we wanted to do is wait initially. So we're going to wait the wait time, and then we're going to set blink as the true. So animator.setBull the blink variable, so make sure that this is case sensitive. We're gonna set that to true. We're gonna wait just a second in between um, before we set it immediately to false. So that makes sure that the animator actually works. It receives it in case there's exit timer, stuff like that. Um, and that's gonna add just a second on to um, our process. The only thing is we do need to make sure that the animation is not looped, and I believe by default it isn't, so we should be good there. And then finally, we want to recall the, the coroutine using another random range of 4 to 11 seconds. So with this, basically there's going to be between 5 seconds and 12 seconds time between uh, when an individual blinks. So that's somewhere between 12 blinks to 5 blinks per minute, which I think is about appropriate for what we want. So we let's save that. And then we will put this blink control right here so that it's, see it's going to grab grab this okay so let's see if it worked
Okay, so let's... I need to check something. Let's check this blink. Okay, so we need to uncheck that loop time. And now when we do this, it should just do it once. There we go. One quick blink. And it's going to blink randomly throughout. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you, if you do, please give us a like and subscribe. I hope to provide more content like this in the future. Thank you.